Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games and day two of the 30 day challenge to build a Space Wolves army of 3000 points. And today's been really productive. Everything has been delivered. So I've got everything I need to get going with the challenge now. So that's great news. So I thought in this video, we could take a look at the progress I've made today, which involved doing the bases and finalizing how I'm going to do those. Also, I put together some of the models and built them already, but I thought it'd be cool to run through all the boxes just so you can see exactly what's going to be included in the army, what 3,000 points of Space Wolves looks like, and then we can take a look at the models I've put together. So here it is, all laid out on the table. Got all the boxes now, which is brilliant and really exciting to get started building and getting it all put together. But a lot of time has been taken up going through looking at the different points involved, especially for the cavalry here. And um, yeah, so a lot of time just choosing which weapons to build and include and things like that. So I put together some, some models were already built, but here's all the boxes stacked up. Some of these have got to be opened up still and done unboxing videos for like some of the hero characters. And then we've got the books and dice to take a look at too. So let's have a look at them individually and you can see exactly what's involved in putting an army like this together. So first of all, you're going to need the codex supplement. And so for me, it's going to be the space wolves. And uh, this will also refer to the codex for the space marines. So we'll take a look at that in a second. But this is a lovely book. I'll do a video of this once I've really got into it and I'll do a nice review. But the artwork's fantastic. Really fun book. And I just love it. I think it's great. All the lore and everything is brilliant. The data sheets are all in here. And a lot of them are for firstborn miniatures. So it's perfect for this army, which is only going to have firstborn models in it. Then you've got the points value at the back. So it's constantly going there and checking that and going back to the data sheet. So I've already got a lot of use out of this book, but it's this one you need as well. So this is the Space Marines Codex. And then if you play a certain chapter that's got a codex supplement available you can use that in tandem with this book and you can see it's got weapon profiles so i'm in using this as well to go in for some of the different weapons like the, the uh, hammer and the axe and things like that so this is all listed and then so you kind of need both books really so this is important to have the two so i think if you're only collecting one army it's no problem but if you want to collect lots of armies this can certainly be expensive because you're going to need lots of supplement books but i think just for one it's no problem to have one or two books then I got the data cards and you don't need these because these are all included in the codex. But I think it's going to make life a lot easier when I'm planning the armies, when I'm playing the game. And, and so it's just really easy. You can put it next to the unit so you know what that unit's going to use. It's got stratagems. It's got the discipline for the librarian equivalent and Tempestus discipline. So, yeah. So and they're nice too. Nice to have. And I think, again, if you could just collected one army and really focusing on it, why not treat yourself? So I got some cool dice as well, and these are like really ice looking ones. So I got those, got 24, I think in there, is it or 30? I can't remember. 30, no, 24, 24 dice in each pack. So I've got plenty of dice there to get rolling with. And then I've also just grabbed all the red dice I've already had. And then I'll be using these red dice for like the wound counters. So this will keep track of the wounds. And I've got some like regular D6, and then I've got some D10, d8 a d16 dice and that's going to be perfect for those higher wound characters so yeah these will be getting lots of use and then i've got these little stones and these are shungite i think they're called and these are going to be used as rune stones for my objective marker so i'm going to paint runes on there with gold paint so that's going to be really fun now we're down to the cool stuff let's have a look at the main characters and normally i would never buy these individual characters i just think they're quite expensive but i love all the characters i think they're so fantastic for the space wolves so we've got ulrich the slayer here and he's going to be like one of the main ones and i've got lots of different ones that i can use either as my warlord in the thousand in the three thousand point army or i can use them as like proxies for other models as we go in and also i'm thinking I want to be playing lots of different armies at combat patrol level so I can mix it up and have different leaders in each one. So I've got lots of options here. They all come with different abilities and skills. This is a cyber wolf. This is fantastic. It's the same size as a regular Fenrisian wolf, um, but this one's in the resin cast and they're a single unit. So it's going to be interesting to see tactically what we can do with that. And then we've got this guy. This is my favourite one. He's going to be like the um, like psychic and then we've got this awesome set as well. Really nice model. This can't wait to get this built. And again, it's in the fine cast. I don't have a lot of experience with this fine cast stuff. I built the Wurgold Prophet with it. 
but um, he's going to be really good when put together. So we've got lots of options for leaders, and then that's going to influence how we can play different combat patrols, which I think is going to be a really fun part of having this army. So now let's move on to some of the units now as well, the bigger units. And we've got some Fenrisian wolves here. So I've got two boxes of five altogether, one I already had and one I picked up for this army now. So that's going to give me a unit of ten, or I can split it. Then we've got the Thunderwolf Cavalry, and there's three miniatures in each box. So I've got two boxes, so that can either be a unit of six, or I can split it and have two units of three. And then, this was quite tricky to put together, actually, that set. Then I've got the Wolf Guard Terminators, and these are awesome. I've got two boxes, five in each. But you can include a Wolf Guard Terminator in your regular packs of, like, Blood Claws and um, all the others, the Grey Wolves as well. So that's really cool. You can add that in, and they can take a bit more of the punishment for that unit. So I'm going to experiment with that as well and look at the tactics for that. And then we've got two Venerable Dreadnoughts. And so you can build these in different ways. So you can build them as Bjorn, Murderfang, and then a regular uh, Dreadnought in the Wolfen style with the axe and the shield. So that's really cool. Then this one, Logan Grimnar, awesome model on that sleigh. You'll see it in a little while. And you can also have the model separate to the sleigh if you want to just play him as the individual model. Then I've got three packs. I've got the Space Wolves pack. This is an old set. I had this ages ago just because it looked cool but now it comes in this packaging the sprues are the same gray hunters and you get four sprues in these i'll do unboxing videos for all these real soon so you can see exactly what's included but from this one box you can build three different unit types so i'll probably do 10 of each and have um, potentially six units of five and then bulk them up with that terminator in there as well then we've got this awesome beast the storm fang gunship and you can build this as two different options one is more of a transport so it can carry more troops up to 16 i believe can fit in it or if you use the gunship then you can't carry as many i think it's only six but you do get an awesome weapon and some heavy firepower to back up the kind of melee that this army's really focused around then i've gone really old school and got some razorbacks and these are going to carry those guys into battle and get them close so they can bail out and then start dishing out some punishment on the battlefield. So we've got two of these and you can build them as a Razorback or as the other one there. So there we go. So two boxes of that. And that was that it? Have we got any more? That's pretty much it now. So here's some other models I already had built. This is a Predator I've had for a while. I just built it because I always wanted one when I was like younger. I just thought it'd be cool to get it. And um, me and my boy just played with it. Uh, just any old games and um, even with his toy soldiers and you can see it's took a bit of a beating but i've got this set of tactical marines that i'm going to do something with and include it with this tank so i think there's going to be tons of bits left over from the other space wolf sets that i can put that tactical squad and potentially have another 10 space wolves so there we go i've also got this dreadnought that came along with that tactical squad and this i think i've got enough bits left over from these two sets to turn into that one with the shield and the axe. So that's really cool. So now I've got the three dreadnoughts that you can see on the box. So that's brilliant news. So I'm really happy about that. But that shield is awesome. I think it's a fantastic piece. Really great. Loads of character. And I've got five Fenrisian wolves that I'd already built. So they are all ready to go. So that's cool. Awesome. And now I'll start showing you what I've been building today. So here's the first Dreadnought, this is Bjorn, and this guy's a character, so that's really cool. You're going to have a Dreadnought as a character, and I've built two different weapon options from the two packs, and I'm going to magnetise that so I can swap them. I've left him off the base, because I'm going to try and do all the bases separately and paint them up. Then we've got this awesome one, Murder Fang. This is so cool, these big, big claws that he's got. That's a really great model, so I built those today. I built the other set of five Fenrisian wolves, so the wolves are all good to go. We've got a pack of ten now, and then tomorrow I'll get that cyber wolf ready. I might include the cyber wolf in a pack for one tactic, but also on his own, because you can have him as a separate unit. Then we've got this guy, Grinmar, and he's going to be on this cool-looking sled, and then that's going to be dragged along by two of the wolves. So this is a really great model. You can pop him in like that, or you can put him on a base. So I'm going to make a separate base for him and do some magnets on that as well, so we can swap it around. And here's the two wolves that tow that along. So this is going to look like a stunning piece, a great centerpiece for the army, I think, and a really fun leader to use. Again, I'll mix it up with the tactics. I might put up together an army with him as the leader in the sled, out of the sled, maybe not in it at all. Yeah, so loads of options. 
Then we've got the Thunderwolf Cavalry. So I built three of the wolves. And let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the guy who rides him on top. So I put him together. And this took a long time just deciding exactly what weapons to go with. I really like those, those claws. I think they fit it. And I've done the heads on a little sprue, just glued them on. So normally I'll just paint it as one piece. But I thought this will maybe speed things up a bit with the dry brushing I'm going to do on the armour. And then I'm going to paint the shields separately as well. So I love the idea of them going in with the claws and the shields. And then one of them has got a thunder hammer too. And then I've got the bases. So there we go, got the ones that were tried out. Put this video up on the channel today so that you can watch that if you like and see how I did it. And so I've got the recipe together now for how I want to do the bases. So really looking forward to getting them all done and can't wait for that. So there we go, that's all the progress I've made today. And I think I'm on schedule big time, so really happy with that. And tomorrow is going to be a full on day of building. So come back tomorrow night and you'll see a load more models built. And this army will really start to be coming together. And then, yeah, I don't think it's going to be long until I can start getting the bases painted up and even start priming the models. So can't wait. It's going to be awesome. So there we go. I think tomorrow I'm going to get those Razorbacks built and a load of the Blood Claws and then we can start having a look at those and thinking about tactics. I'm also going to get the leaders as well. So that's my kind of goal. Let's get all those leaders built, the Razorbacks and all the infantry as well. And then that'd be an awesome day. And then we'd be really on track, even ahead of schedule if I can get that done. So can't wait for that. And so if you want to come back tomorrow night and watch day three, hopefully you'll see that all put together. And then we can start focusing on the miniatures a little bit and talking about their data sheets, what they can do and what they bring to it and um, how we can create some different combat patrols maybe around each one. So that'd be really fun. Thanks so much for following along with this 30 day challenge and I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I think it's going to be a great way to share what I'm doing. And if you're looking at starting an army for Warhammer 40,000, this could be a good way just to see exactly what it entails and um, what you need to do to put together 3000 points of different fighters and units. Don't forget to check out that video I've already done on how to do the bases and I'll start putting up some unboxing videos as well real soon so you can take a good look at exactly what it looks like when it comes out. Have a look at the sprue in detail and then see the models all built and put together. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can join me next time here on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.